Well, greetings. What is up, YouTubers? This is Pastor Matt here with a very interesting book review today. Uh, just the other day, I checked my mailbox here at work at the church, and there was a parcel in the office for me. And it was from a name that I had not mentioned in quite a while, an old friend, one of my college roommates. And uh, he sent me this package, and inside was this very old-looking book. And what I'd like to do today is just examine the contents of what was in this book. Here it is, a very old leather book with some tape holding together the binding. And by the way, I would just say, if you ever find an old book, please do not use tape to hold it together. That just damages the book. Uh, even further, if I were to peel up this tape right here, what would happen is it would just destroy uh, the leather underneath. This is leather over top of board, one of the ways that they used to bind books. And now the binding is completely broken apart. And you can see here this effort to try to tape the book together. It does hold it together, but unfortunately, sometimes that does more, more harm than good. There's some personal notes in here which are largely irrelevant to me. But then we come down to the date of this particular production and look what we have here that's MDCCLXII and I had to check my Roman numerals two or three times to remember that that is 1762 and what we have here is the family expositor a paraphrase of the New Testament with critical notes by one Philip Doddridge who was one of the great Puritan divines and so, interesting, we have a book, this is volume six of a multi-volume set, and I've come to find out that the sixth volume was published posthumously after Doddridge had already died. But this was a very significant commentary in the age of the Puritans, and here is the advertisement to the reader by the editor, uh, giving a little bit of instruction about the, the previous volumes and uh, the contents contained in these six volumes. Um, so here we have an introduction. By the way, this is the pastoral epistles from Hebrews to... Let's see here. What did that just say? Hebrews, uh, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 John... The other Johns, Jude and Revelation. So that's what's contained. Uh, let's look at what you get here. You get a translation of the scriptures. You get an improvement section, which would be the Puritan word for application. And then you have commentary in this very large, wide margin format. This is a large book. I can't, I don't know if you can tell by just looking on the screen, but this is. Uh, twice as big as my hand, so this is probably like an eight and a half by eleven, almost the size of like a printer paper. Really, really significant work. And of course, going back to 1762, this is 255 years old. Now, let me tell you why it's interesting to me. Um, I don't know too much about Doddridge, but I do know a lot of, about a guy called Jonathan Edwards about whom I wrote my doctoral dissertation at Reformed Theological Seminary. Jonathan Edwards had, there's somebody's little note there. Jonathan Edwards had a Bible called the Blank Bible. It was a King James Version spliced together with blank sheets of paper between every page. And this is where Jonathan Edwards kept his lifetime long notes and exegetical details that he would record about the books he was studying. He did this throughout his whole life. It's a treasure. Uh, the Blank Bible is now volume 24 of the collected works of Jonathan Edwards. And what's interesting is that Edwards quotes quite a few Puritan sources, but the two that he quotes the most are Matthew Poole and guess what? Philip Doddridge's book. This one right here, The Family Expositor. Edwards interacted with this book in great detail and he writes uh, copious notes on Doddridge's work from the family expositor into his own blank Bible. So this volume has great personal significance to me as a Jonathan Edwards scholar. 
Well, what I'm gonna want to do for you is this. I'm going to post some links in the description of this video. If you toggle down on the description of this video, I'm gonna put some links there for you that might be interesting. Um, I will link some modern day reprints of the Family Expositor by Doddridge. I will link you to Edwards's blank Bible. And just for fun, I'm gonna send you over to a link on Amazon where you can actually get a Jonathan Edwards inspired blank Bible, which is now produced by Crossway, where they took Edwards' idea of a blank Bible interspersed with um, the scriptures so that you can take a lifelong note section uh, as Edwards did. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, and I will check you later. Love you lots.